Today, I am going to be making savory hand pies. I'm going to start this recipe with crust. I'm going to make my own pastry crust. You can easily go to the store and buy already made pie crusts, but I really enjoy making the dough, the pastry part of it, and I think it tends to usually taste better. I'm hoping to get a nice flaky crust. That doesn't always happen for me. It's kind of like the whole, uh, if you watch some of my other videos, it's kind of like the whole bread thing, the dough thing. Doesn't always come out. Maybe that's why I enjoy doing it. It's kind of a challenge. First step that I need to do here is I'm going to cut up all this butter. This is one cup of butter. And then I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to stick it back in the freezer or stick it in the freezer and for several minutes because I need the butter to be really, really cold. I already have a half a cup of water in the freezer getting cold. Don't want it to freeze. Don't want it to be ice, but it needs to be extremely cold. That is the trick to getting the pastry dough to be more of a flaky than, than just a like biscuit type dough. I'm going to finish cutting this butter up. While my butter is in the freezer getting cold, I am going to go ahead and measure out my flour. I need two and a half cups of flour. Regular flour. I'm not using like any kind of rising flour or anything like that. One teaspoon of sugar, just regular basic sugar. I almost always use salted butter, which allows me to actually not add extra salt to the recipe. So I am not going to put salt in this, in the dry ingredients. I don't think I need it because my butter is a salted butter. I'm just gonna take my pastry blender here and kind of mix my sugar into my flour a little bit. Now I'm going to add my very cold butter to my flour mixture. And if you have a large food processor, you can do it a little quicker and easier with a food processor. I'm just going to use my pastry cutter here and mix that butter into the flour. It needs to be pretty crumbly so it can take a little bit of work to get this mixed together. Got that pretty crumbly. Next step is to add three tablespoons of the very cold water. I'm going to cut that into my dough. I'm going to add three more. Cut that into my dough. You can see it's kind of starting to clump together. Looking for it to be moist enough that I can form it into a ball. Don't want it to be too moist. I 
think that might be enough. Just gonna lightly flower this surface here so it doesn't stick to my countertop. Take this dough and try to work it into a ball. Cut it in a nice, nice ball here. I'm actually going to split this in half or close to half. to make two separate balls with this. Wrap my dough balls up in plastic wrap and then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator for about an hour. My hand pie dough has been in the refrigerator for a little over an hour now. It's fine, it doesn't hurt if it gets a little colder. I'm gonna go ahead and work on these, the insides of, ooh, that's messy. I'm going to cut up this pork loin. I'm going to cut it in pretty small pieces. The hand pies are going to be a fairly small size since they're, you know, a hand pie. And I want to try to be able to stuff as much of the filling in as I can. And I'm afraid if I make the pieces too large, then it won't fill nicely. So I'm going to make these in somewhat smaller pieces. I'm going to finish cutting this all up, and then I'll be back. Pans all nice and heated up. Add my pork loin pieces. the lid on and let that get nice and browned up and then I will add my seasoning. While I am waiting on the pork loin to cook, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this dough because it's probably going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and lightly flour my countertop here. So I need to roll this out pretty thin and in about a rectangle type shape. Got my dough in about as a rectangle as it's going to get. My next step is going to be to cut these in strips. Basically going to make these kind of like Hot Pocket sized. And I'm thinking I'm going to get maybe about four out of it. We'll see. I'm not sure because I don't know. I don't know if I want to do them a little smaller. Maybe I should do them smaller. Go in half. I'm just using a pizza cutter. Yeah, I think maybe that'll work. So we'll probably get about eight out of this. Eight very inconsistent pies. <laughs> but hey, as long as they taste good, that's all that matters, right? This pork is done cooking. I'm gonna drain this off real quick I don't want all those juices in there, and then I'm going to add my seasoning. I am going to just throw in a little bit of minced garlic. Don't need a whole lot. I mean, unless you just really like a whole lot of garlic. And this chorizo, I believe is how it's pronounced, packet of seasoning. I'm just going to mix that up real good over all that pork with the seasoning. 
Okay, that is all mixed up. Now I can stuff my hand pies. Just gonna put some of the meat, add some cheese, and then fold this over. Use a fork and smash those ends down. You want to make sure you get a nice smash on those because you don't want your, your uh, stuffing stuff to come out. And I'm just going to poke a little in the top here just to give it some breathing space. Now I'm going to cook these on parchment paper just in case something does kind of like the cheese oozes out, it'll be a little bit easier cleanup. Don't have to worry about them sticking or anything that way. My little pies are all done up. Nope, they are not pretty, but that's fine. I am actually going to brush the tops of these with some olive oil. You can use an egg wash if you prefer. Hopefully the olive oil will give it a little bit of a, of a nice brown look. I'm going to put this in a preheated oven at 400. I'm going to leave them in for 12 to 15 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on them. I'm not really for sure how long it's going to take for them to cook. I'll check them, and when they're done, I'll show you what they look like. These are far from perfect, but I did get a little browning on them, so that's cool. Gonna give them a try. Let me bust one of these open. It does look like the crust is a little flaky, so that's nice. Let's see what they taste like. Hmm, those are really good.